In medical rounds today, September is Thyroid Cancer Awareness Month. And like other cancers, if it's caught early, it can be treated. Here now to talk about symptoms and treatment is Hartford's Healthcare, Dr. Carrie Corsella. She's an endocrine surgeon at the Hospital of Central Connecticut. Dr. Corsella, thank you so much for being here. First, who, uh, for people who aren't familiar with it, where exactly is our thyroid and what does it do? Sure, thank you for having me. Your thyroid is an endocrine gland that sits here in your neck and it's shaped like a butterfly. I do have a model here um, and this is what it would look like underneath the skin where the gland sits right in front of your airway positioned lower here in the neck. Uh, the thyroid's very important because it produces a hormone um, which regulates our temperature, our energy, our heart rate and many, many other important functions within the human body. What are the symptoms of thyroid cancer and how can people self-screen? Sure. So a lot of patients may not have any symptoms at all, which is why it's extremely important that individuals are seeing their uh, primary care physician and they're examining their neck to ensure that there aren't any nodules or masses. Uh, but some individuals may actually identify a lump in their neck or possibly have um, some difficulty with swallowing or um, some voice changes or a dry cough that can't be explained by um, other medical problems. How does someone get thyroid cancer? Are there certain risk factors? Yeah, so the majority of uh, patients may not have any specific risk factors, but the risk factors that we are aware of are um, family history and exposure to radiation. Um, there are some newer studies that are coming out um, where obesity may be a factor, um, but definitely women are more likely to get thyroid nodules and thyroid cancer uh, more than men. And how is it diagnosed and what are the treatments? Sure. So initially, an individual will likely, after a physical exam by their primary care physician, if felt it's warranted, proceed uh, with imaging, which usually would uh, be an ultrasound. Um, and then if a nodule is identified that has concerning features, uh, then we typically proceed with a what is called fine needle aspiration. Um, and it's important to note that a lot of thyroid nodules, more than 90%, are ultimately benign, um, which is why it's, it's uh, very crucial to be seen by a specialist um, so they can both evaluate the imaging and then proceed uh, with those aspirations of the nodules um, that have concerning features. Very informative. We thank you very much, Dr. Carrie Carcella. We appreciate it. For information, you can visit hartfordhealthcare.org cancer and we'll connect